Pandemic has changed just about everything this year, and that includes Black Friday shopping. Yes, it does. Retailers are switching up their sales because of COVID-19, and many are already offering deals. Joining us to talk more about this is Patricia Norberg, an associate professor of marketing at Quinnipiac University. Patricia, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. So my inbox has been yeah. absolutely <laughs> flooded with deals from stores saying Black Friday starts now. When do you think people should actually this year start shopping for Black Friday? I think they should be starting now if they haven't already started. Um, some of those deals that you're talking about have been uh, being offered since mid-October. Um, there's a real need to kind of smooth out the demand and ensure that uh, there are enough shippers to get the deliveries to the homes of consumers for the holidays. I was actually looking today, Patricia, at vacuums at a store, at a big box store, and I thought to myself, don't do this now because I feel like these prices could come down. But there are different challenges, right, for the big box stores when you compare them to, you know, smaller local shops, which we want to support as well, right? Yeah, I think the challenges somewhat are similar and somewhat different for both of those. A big challenge for everyone is, and especially the big box stores, is what should our inventory look like? How much should we have on hand? And I don't think we're going to be seeing those real deals, you know, those last minute deals uh, in store because stores didn't stock as much as they would normally stock because of the expected surge of online deals. So stores are hoping that some of this uh, shopping online will be buy online, go to the store to pick up, to kind of offload some of the demand on the shippers. But um, the deals are being spread out across the board to handle the demand that we're expecting online. Local stores, you know, how they'll deal with uh, getting people to come into the stores. They don't really have the e-commerce platforms all the time to be able to uh, facilitate online shopping. So really supporting those stores and the retailers getting creative and how they can uh, best serve customers is going to be important. Off hours, getting people to come in off hours, doing cor curbside pickup and just kind of like taking plays from the restaurant playbook, I think yeah. is going to be important to them. Interesting well, year. Yeah. In a year of change, yeah. here's another change. Yeah. Patricia Norberg, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate it. All right. Take care. Thanks so much. You